Let's talk background. One of the most common questions I get about virtual presenting is, Michael, what type of background or backdrop should I use? Do I use the virtual background on Zoom? Uh, should I show my office? Do I do a plain backdrop like you've got? Well, there's no right or wrong answer to this question. It is personal preference. I will start by saying I do not like the new virtual backgrounds that people have been using. When they first came out, they were cool, they were novel, but here's what I don't like. See, when I shift to this, first of all, the color is not good here, but just the ghosting effect. I look like I've got one of those pompadour hairdos at some point, body disappears at points. I just don't think it looks professional. So for that reason, I'm not a big fan. I don't use them. Some people will say, and again, I've had some pushback on this. I want to feel what your home life is like. I want to see the pictures on the wall. I want to see the books on your shelf. That's fine in a one-to-one -one personal uh, setting. From a business standpoint, I think number one, we have to be professional, but number two, remember people are highly distractible today. When you've got books on your shelf, you've got pictures on your wall, I promise you, some people in that audience are doing this. I've got that book. I know I've got that book. That, oh, that's really good. I wonder what she thinks about that. I would look, see what's happening. I'm already distracted. I'm not thinking about what you're saying. I'm distracted by a book or pictures on the wall. You know, I wonder if that's his daughter. You know, he mentioned his wife. She's younger looking than him. I wonder what that's about. So, all these thoughts can be running through people's head. Make sure that you're eliminating the distractions. I prefer the plain background. Yes, I've got my branding here. I've talked about that in other videos, the subliminal <laughs> the branding, but it's limited. You know that I'm a coach. You know that I'm a speaking CPR. That's all you need. And everything else should be me, the presenter, giving you insights and stories and, and experiences on a specific topic. No more, no less. So choose your background that fits your personality, but just keep in mind what your audience is going through. All the distractions. You do not want them thinking 58 other thoughts when you're trying to make one point. Keep the distractions to a minimum and you will keep their attention. On tomorrow's video, you're going to hear all about the style of clothing that you use on video, uh, specifically with uh, colors. You want to make sure that there's good contrast or else it can create a kind of an overwhelming visual experience for the audience. So look forward to talking with you in tip 23. We'll talk all about clothing on camera.